got to catch any of the really big bass, but... Really? Um, well, I've got a seven pound uh, largemouth. That's, I think, the largest I've gotten so far. Yeah, the largemouth get to about 12 here. I've personally caught one that was like 12. Um, I've seen them bigger. I've seen a guy catch a 16. I don't think they get much bigger than that, though. So, I don't know exactly what his top end, but yeah, it's a big bass. It's a good fish, dude. Yep. That's a good fish. I wonder if they'll hit the, hit the newts right now, this early in the morning. I've caught, yeah, I haven't, I have, haven't tried newts yet. I have caught the unique off this exact setup. So, here's hoping. I've also hooked into some drums and some tarpons with it too, so. I don't think I got the line to deal with a tarpon right now, but I don't think I'm gonna catch one. I can barely get a damn lift and drop going. Sucks to get old, my hands is getting tired. actually done pretty well with uh, soft plastics down here if you hit them at the right time. Which uh, rod do you use for soft plastics? I'm using the Jester now but it's just about any rod really like as far as your bass rods. I'm only using a half ounce jig head with a two old hook on it so I mean it's not like I'm after big fish they just happen to hit it had that damn rattlesnake worm on earlier it's from the event and uh, it was terrible but now nah, I was talking to you about the crankbaits I mean they're pretty easy you just take it and you literally just throw it out there and come down these channels with it and get as close to these weed edges as you can without hanging up. And I just burn it right through there. I think there's a bass. Pretty good bass too. I do like to use my lighter rod for my for my crankbaits. But yeah, this was the old strategy in in uh, Florida, and it still works. Just me, or at least my old strategy. I'd throw cranks all day. And for some reason, this blue crank works better than the red one. I don't know if it's a color or what it is. And back in the day, you would get the swirls like they were hitting it, hitting it off the surface. I assume they fixed that now. Yeah. I mean, you can still see them like if they're close to the surface when you're getting ready to hit. Like if they're right here in front of you, you can still see them do it. Hey, you're just tearing me up, dude. Well, I am on a slightly better time. This is true. I'm just now getting into 10. I'm just now getting into 10 o'clock. I saw an advert for War Thunder earlier on YouTube. Had to, And they had uh, helicopters and stuff. 
Is that pretty much all it is? Is like helicopters and jets and like um, tanks and stuff? I mean, like the helicopters and the jets, I haven't gotten to that yet because one thing about War Thunder is it is a pretty grindy game. So if you don't pay real money, get into the, you know, 70s and 80s yeah. tanks and stuff takes quite a while. So you have so. to graduate from tanks to planes to and everything. So it's a progression system. Well, you can you do tanks and planes at the same time. Oh, okay. Um, but helicopters are higher rank. Okay, um, so you have to get like what is it? You plane to a certain level, and then you can get a helicopter. Um, no, I think it's just getting in general to a high enough level with enough oh. money. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Like, it gives you something to work for. Yeah. It's just... It's... The game, it's impossible to get everything. To get every tank. Um, <laughs> it would just take way too long. I don't know, dude. There's some people with no... With absolutely no life. Like... I mean, if you pay real money, it's possible. No, I'm not talking about paying money. I mean, think about... Just, damn, hell, dude, look at me. I've got 1,200 hours in this game that we're playing right here. Oh, shit. That is not a bass, I don't think. Oh, no. It is. I'm able to bring him in a little bit. Yeah, it's a bass. At least I hope it's a bass. Because that's a good bass if it is. But no, like, look, I got 1,200 hours in this game, and... I'm still making content because there's still so much to make and talk about. I love it. Damn. He fought bigger than he was. It's the only problem with this that. rod. Yeah. Tend to find that the little smaller ones fight harder. Quite a bit. Sometimes, you know, when I'm fighting the trout, I'll think I've hooked on a uh, five pound brown trout it's actually a two and a half pound rainbow yeah yeah well i think it's because the rainbow are a smaller fish so they gotta get give more fight for the pound that's like him yeah. damn little red bands oh dude you get a red band much over two pounds they'll just take you wherever you want to go on that little feather light they will oh shit i love how they just smash this crankbait though I mean, they just absolutely smash it, dude. You just be reeling, and then boom, you got one. Yeah, it was my daddy's favorite lure. It was a six foot crawfish crank. He had one for six foot, he had one for three foot. Man caught many a bass off of it. I That's think I, cool. I think I still got one of them in my tackle box. Yeah. I remember right, we was up at uh, we was up Bugs Island. He threw that thing up next to a log, you know, trying to be funny. He said, "Look, watch this," and he hit the fucking log with the plug, and it bounced off, landed in the water. Then he hooked a six-pound bass. <laughs> Wasn't funny then, because then he, we had to get it out from over that fucking log. Ooh. We got it, though. We got it in the boat. It took some finagling, but we got him. Came in like seventh that tournament. Still finished in money. Pretty as you please. Just burning that crankbait. Alright, now that it's over here, let's see what's going on over here. Now that this spot's had some time to cool down. 
Yeah, I find the key to this map is really changing around where you're fishing. Yeah, you just can't fish one spot continuously. Hmm, there we go. Oh, wait a minute here. That's a good fish. At least three pounds. Man, that's why I like these little old light rods. They might suck durability wise, and yeah, you gotta repair them pretty frequent. But just getting a almost four pound bass to give you that kind of fight, it just makes it worth it. Yeah, I mean, just constantly grinding with heavy rods at a certain point, it just gets boring. Yeah, you want something just to pull some line or give you some fight or something. But the downside to that is if you hook into something too big for your rod, you're pretty much screwed. And They changed the fish fighting behavior. And I don't know when they changed it. But the fish fight harder now for some reason. Either that or I'm just smoking way too good of stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure because, uh, well, I used to play about a year ago, but at that time I was, uh, mostly just on Texas, Missouri, and, uh, New York. Had yeah. some pretty decent fights in, uh, New York, but the rest, not much. Well, I mean, they've got them chain pickerel up there in New York, and I mean, they're just, if you can actually get on them, and actually get them biting and you know get some consistency out of the pike up there you can have fun but just mindlessly grinding walleye was just not my thing yeah I can definitely see why the walleye up there can get a little grindy at a certain point oh yeah dude cause it's like don't you go it's like a Throw it out there. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. Stop and go slow all the way home. Repeat. Like, till infinity. I have a feeling if I catch one now, it's going to be a gar. Too far out from the... Oh, well. I can handle a small gar. As long as he ain't over about 10 pounds, I'll be good. Yeah, I mean, I keep getting the 6 pound gar, and they're just annoying. Yeah, you've also got a little bit heavier rod than me. I'm using my yeah, value I mean, cast. I mean, I'm using the value cast with this uh, worm, but for my uh, frog bait. Oh, you I'm are? Using the, I'm using the jester for the frog. Oh, yeah keep you good lures and stuff I mean I can replace the, I can replace this crankbait you can't you can't replace a gold lure right now and it's this little blue crankbait I think is a gold lure I'd have to look but I think it is I mean I'm not using any gold lures right now I do have a few on me yeah well I mean they're just un they're normally unneeded but I felt like using it okay now that that's done, let's see if I can get a couple more on the popper. It'd help if you hit the right damn rod. One more time with feeling this time. There we go. There's the frog. Okay. Put the red frog popper on. I don't know, I just like the red one. Yeah, I haven't had enough time to experiment with them. Let's see which color I prefer. Nah. It's all psychological. Just like the bait actually popping on top of the water is psychological. 
it's actually still attracting the fish it's just you like to see that pop it doesn't matter what I do you're always gonna get my little boy on recording oh well I'm a parent such is life There we go. See, it's just a placebo. That little pop. It don't really make a difference, but it does in my mind. Mmm. That's a good little fish. <laughs> 